Okay, so let's solve this problem. So solving for n in a combination. So we have this given a combination of n choose 2 equals 28. So from this formula, n is the unknown, then r is equal to 2. So to solve for n, since the given is equal to 28, so 28 is equal to this uh, n factorial, then over, since r is equal to 2, so that's 2 factorial times n minus 2 factorial. Then we need to eliminate this n minus 2 factorial. Now, since 7 factorial is equal to 7 times 6 times 5 uh, factorial, so therefore if n is equal to 7, so we have now n times, so this 7 minus 1, that's 6, so this one is n minus 1. Then 7 minus 2, that's 5, so this one is n minus 2 factorial. So therefore, this n factorial is equal to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 factorial. And this 2 factorial is equal to 2 times 1, so that's 2. So 2 factorial is equal to 2, then times n minus 2 factorial. So we can eliminate now this n minus 2 factorial. So we have 28 is equal to n times n minus 1 over 2. Then uh, apply cross multiplication. So 28 times 2, that's 56 equals n times n minus 1. Then since this n times n minus 1 is just the product of two consecutive numbers, so we need to find these two consecutive numbers that the product is 56. So if we have 6 times 7, that's 42, but 7 times 8, that's 56. So 56 is equal to 7 times 8. But we need to write first the a bigger number. So 56 is equal to 8 times 7. So therefore, n is equal to 8. Then to check the answer, so if n is equal to 8, so we have 8, then this uh, ncr, then r is equal to 2, so 8 choose 2, that's 28. So n is equal to 8. Then for this given, so n is the unknown, then r is equal to 4. Now, since the given is equal to 210, so we have 210 is equal to n factorial over r is equal to 4. So we have 4 factorial times n minus 4 factorial. Then we can rewrite this n as n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 times n minus 4 factorial. So that we can eliminate this n minus 4 factorial, then this 4 factorial is equal to 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So 4 times 3, that's 12, times 2, that's 24, times 1, this one is 24. So 4 factorial, that's equal to 24, then times n minus 4 factorial. So we can eliminate now this n minus 4 factorial. So we have 210 is equal to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 over 24. Then do cross multiplication. So this 210 times 24. So 210 times 24. That's 5040. So 5040 is equal to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3. Then we need to find these four consecutive numbers that the product is 5040. So if we have uh, 6 times 7, 
times 8 times 9, that's 3,024. What if 7 times 8 times 9 times 10, that's 5,040. But we need to write first the highest number. So this 5,040 is equal to 10 times 9 times 8 times 7. So therefore, n is equal to 10. Then to check the answer, so if n equals 10, so we have 10. Then this ncr, so choose r is 4. So 10 choose 4. That's 210. So n is equal to 10.